in this video, I'm going to talk about an air fryer, the pros and cons of an air fryer. Should you really buy an air fryer? Do you really need it? And if yes, what are the right ways to use an air fryer? Hello friends, this is Pooja. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this new video. We all do a lot of research or groundwork when it comes to buying a new gadget for a home or kitchen. We try to find out about uh, the various brands, we differentiate between the brands, we check on the cost of the product, we check review that people have given about the product, but do we actually know before buying what are the pros and cons of a product? No, right? Not always. So I have been using an air fryer since the last four months and with my experience, I'm going to share uh, all the pros and cons and tips and tricks of using an air fryer. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So yes friends, this is the air fryer that I use. It's from Nutricook brand, but most of the air fryer look and uh, function the same way. So it is uh, compact, classy, comes with an auto on off uh, system just like, a, uh, just like an oven. So it has a lot of other functions other than uh, frying. And yes, you can bake a cake too in your air fryer. You can preheat as well. As you can see, these are the functions that are available. So this is the basket uh, in which you cook your food or air fry it and once you once you're done with your cooking you can just remove this by pressing this button here and this is the tray which is underneath the basket which stores all the excess oil or any dripping of the food that is from the basket so this makes it very easy to clean and once when you're done with your cleaning you may just fix it back by pressing this button and you can it back so just above this basket is this area which is not removable and this has the fan which provides 3d uniform heating by providing heat all four sides and cooks or air fries your food now here is a tip that I would like to give you all just like a microwave when you store it in your kitchen uh, on your kitchen countertop ensure that there is some amount of gap on the sides and at the back to allow heat pass through so to start cooking, we need to preheat just like a microwave oven. That's the temperature it preheats at. It will take around 3 minutes to preheat and once that it's done, it will give us a beep noise. Now if you can hear, that's the beep noise it gives once the preheat uh, process is over. Oh, one thing that I would like to tell you all is all your microwave safe uh, cookware can be used in your air fryer as well. You need to use some amount of oil to cook your food, to air fry your food specially. So you can either use uh, such brush to apply oil on the basket as well as on your food or you can use these kind of cans. But never buy the store uh, bought cans, oil cans which already has oil in it. Never buy those because they have harmful chemicals and that can damage your air fryer. So what I have done is I have bought this glass bottle which is from Amazon. It is a spray bottle and I have filled my cooking oil which I use for deep frying. So you may use these kind of glass bottles or plastic bottles. With bottles I mean spray bottles. So I will spray a little oil on the basket. After I have sprayed oil uh, in the basket, I will spread the, uh, I will add the french fries. And never go on commercials friends, never go on commercial and overload your basket uh, because that will not cook evenly and that will also put a lot of load on the air fryer. So always cook little food at a time and once I have added the french fries, I am spraying some oil on it as well. So we will now air fry this. So this is where we uh, set the mode and the temperature. So I have set it on 200 degrees and it will take, it says it will take at least 10 minutes to, uh, to cook it and the maximum time is 22 minutes. So let us just open and flip the food once for even cooking and if required we may uh, add some more oil otherwise just skip it. I don't think I need to add any more oil, it has enough. And it will start automatically from where it stopped. So finally we are done. Now look at those crispy looking french fries. So I will show you how the excess oil drips down. You can see it on the dripping tray. So all the excess oil drips down and I am sure you can hear the crispiness. 
so that's how crispy they are and there's no compromise on the taste trust me about that i can totally vouch for it there will not be any compromise on the taste so yes that's how it looks a suggestion i would like to give you friends if you have an oven that has an air fryer mode please don't invest in an air fryer as you might have to regret later as wise men always say we should always look at the positive first and then come to negative so i am going to start with the pros and then i'll move on to the cons so the most important and the biggest positive of an air fryer is it is an healthy alternate to your all your favorite deep fried snacks the other one is since it is very compact and classy it doesn't need a lot of storage space compared to an oven and also it is very easy to clean and maintain an air fryer i would like to share with you the dishes i have made in this air fryer i have tried the most famous rajasthani dish fried snack which is kachoris and i have put up the video uh, the recipe video on my youtube channel and instagram page as well you may check it up in the i button other than that i have made potato wedges i have made french fries i have made uh, banana chips karela chips i have made uh, crispy fried vegetables and lot many other dishes so i will tell you what are the cons that i faced about them so here i start with the cons of an air fryer the first and foremost it takes a lot of time when compared to your normal frying but at the same time it takes less time compared to your oven but i think that is absolutely fine compared to the calories that you consume the calories you consume through an air fryer is much much lesser than you consume through a deep fried uh, stuff and the other is i wouldn't say it a con but i i wish and i and this can be a suggestion to many other brands as well that the cord is too small i feel the cord is only this much and it's not just with my air fryer with most of the brands you know they they all have the same length of the cord which i wish was a little longer for us uh, to have an easy access to the plug points of, in the kitchen so yes that's about it and the third one which i personally felt was whenever we make any dish whether it was kachoris whether it was banana chips or any any other dish if you can consume it that moment or within half an hour to one hour it is absolutely fine it will stay crispy but if you try to consume it the next day for an example a banana chips banana chips is something that you would like to store it in an air tight jar and have it for the next couple of days so i had made a huge bunch of banana chips thinking that you know i will be sorted with snacks for the next one week but sadly you know the same day when i made it it was very tasty very crispy but sadly when i put it in the air tight container it became soggy and then i realized that air fryer is good when you consume the uh, dishes made on the same day at the same time otherwise they tend to become a little soggy and i don't think it's specific to my air fryer i think that's the case with most of the air fryers so it is right to be consumed the same time same day so yes we cannot store the snack that we have made so that's about it that's all for this video friends thank you so much for watching and if you find this helpful and useful please share it with your friends and family they might need it uh, if they are uh, planning to buy an air fryer so that's all please like share and subscribe and follow me on instagram for all the latest updates thank you